Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the German Dream Chasers Career Mode, also known as the most electrifying career mode in YouTube entertainment. We are back with the stars of season six. Well, I guess it's the second episode of season six now, or I guess technically the third episode of season six. If you've missed any episode, check out the channel. There's a playlist you can get up to date with the whole series so far. Last episode, like I say, we started the season, got through preseason. The episode before that was a bit of a different video. We took the Norway national side. If you still haven't seen that video, make sure you check that one out. We took our Norway squad to the European Championships. So check that video if you missed that and check the last episode if you missed that one too. And then you'll be fully up to date with season six because I'm not going to go too in depth today with the squad, players, transfers, all of that. We did all of that last episode, so I don't need to waste any time on that. To celebrate season six, can we aim for 6,000 subscribers? I was going to say 6,000 likes on the video, but we won't even get 6,000 views. Well, hit the like button before we start. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're nearly at 6K. It would be nice to hit that during season six. It would be very poetic in my eyes. So... With that being said, I think that's all I need to say. In fact, first link in the description down below. Follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming a lot more because the Elden Ring DLC has just been announced. It's dropping in June and I still haven't finished the game. So I want to finish Elden Ring before the DLC drops. I'm going to be streaming it a lot, uploading videos on the channel from Elden Ring. I love that game. That game is so good, man. So follow me on Twitch. Come and see me over there. Now, I told you last episode, the first five seasons of this career mode were just practice. Season six, it's game time. We're starting our season against Wolfsburg. Let's get into it. I showed this last episode. They have Joe Bellingham on the bench. Are they kidding me, bro? He's 89 overall now, and he's starting on the bench. That is crazy. Let's get into it. First press conference of the season. Need to boost our morale up for some reason. The lads aren't that happy. I'm going to give a few players a new contract soon as well. I normally do all contract stuff off camera. I feel like that doesn't really make for good content in my opinion. But if you want to see, um, you know, the contract stuff, let me know in the comments below and I'll update you just down in the comments who we gave new contracts to. The media, of course, asking us about Michael David. He's lost his place in the starting 11 now because we have brought in a new fullback. If you want to see who that was, check the last episode. I mean, you'll see as soon as we get into the game anyway. But let's get to kickoff, man. We should all be at full fitness. Yes, we are. Udogi in at left back. And he's now our highest rated player, bro. 87 overall. Okay, Destiny, bro. I see you. Yeah, up to 87 overall, bro. His stat spread is crazy for a fullback, innit? He could play midfield, bro. Here's how the bench is going to look for the season, by the way. We have Michael and Henry in at the defensive positions. We have Chan, Sato, Enkosi, Alex Alves, and Andrade. That's a bit of a weird bench. In the subs, we've relegated Ono Masayoshi and Leonardo Correa. Obviously, all of those players I've just mentioned getting a lot of game time in the cup squad. We're using the pink kit for this first game of the season. I'm looking forward to seeing how this looks in game. Obviously, if you didn't see the kit creation, Jordan, the Norway video, all of our kits this season, inspired as always by Neon Genesis Evangelion. This one being inspired by my girl, Mari. And let's get into the game, man. Come on, boys. Yeah? Hey, it's game time. Come on. It's time for the talking to stop and for the action to begin. A brand new Bundesliga season for us to look forward to. And it starts right here. We'll have all the action for you next on EA TV. Oh, the cash money mark. Back shots go crazy. <laughs> uh, Ishikawa getting heated in the build-up as well. He's saying to these, man, do you not know who I am? I'm the avatar, bro. Don't let me enter flow states. Well, in Devo. Ah, we're just different. We're just different. John Stones with the big tackle, though. We know he's a player. But the aggression is just different. Look at that. Pushing them back in the box already. Schmidt, big save. Come on. Last season was practice, like I keep saying. And it was a season of development. And these lads now, the ratings are crazy. Obviously, backed by some uh, potential glitches. But, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, man. I can't wait for this season. Early predictions in the comments, lads. Golden boot winner this season. I said last episode, early predictions for MVP, but who's getting the golden boot? Is Devo going to get it again? Is Moses going to step up with more goals this year? In fact, didn't he get the same last year? I don't know. I just disrespect Moses for no reason sometimes. 
Right, new doggy. That's more like it. It's from our left back. I love it. Come on. Now, I love Michael. Let me not disrespect him either. Ishikawa, though. Let's go. Demir, find it. Ibrahim. Look at that, Bergvall. Get that wide. Here's Devo. What's he thinking? Oh! <laughs> what was he thinking? But he's feeling himself. Yo, this kid looks nice, bro, in game. I'd buy this IRL. Bro, I wish I could just make these kids in real life, you know? It'd be so fire. I'll stick with that B, bro. If I could have a framed Devo jersey in the background of me set up or something, that would be so sick. Big well fan, that's Devo's free. He has found him. Devo inside. Ishikawa! Oh, lad! Ishikawa, bro, ruining the drop. I thought our star player from last season might have picked himself up the first goal of the new season. But he's let us down there. Come on, that was a nice play though. What a ball from Bergval. And a touch from Devo. <sighs> Amy, get it out. Oh, Lord. Demir, look at that overlap there from Barton. The boy chasing forward, Barton inside. And here's Devo for the first goal of the season. Who else but Robin Devo? Possibly could go down as the top scorer in Dream Chasers history. He is coming for that record. I think Arthur Vilk might hold it right now. I don't actually know the maths on that, and that would be very hard to figure out. <laughs> but Devo, man, by the end of this career mode, he'll be up there with those two, I'm telling you. And an assist from Barton on the first day of the season. Some people have complaints about how I'm training Barton, but bro, I am cooking up the best career mode player of all time with this guy, I'm telling you. Once his defense is high enough, I'm going to convert him to a right mid, boost up his shot power and free kicks, and he is going to be the greatest player you've ever seen, bro. Swear down. Like, when he's 90 overall, he's going to have stats that will actually blow your mind. Oh! We got lucky. We got lucky. We had three men in front of it. I didn't know one block it, though. We're finding space here against Wolfsburg as well. Very attacking play. You've got a doggy on the overlap. All of our men seem to be on the far post, but we get it back to Bergval, who drills it in. Ah, oh, nice block, Baku. Come on. Solid first half there, though, man. Picking up where we left off from season five. Game time. I think you've proved to be an excellent signing. Yes, he'll be under pressure, but he's got the character and, more importantly, the ability to cope with it. How have we been dispossessed there? That's the craziest tackle I've ever seen. There's no way. That's the craziest tackle I've ever seen on Benji, bro. Big body Benj getting dispossessed from behind like that. You mad lad. I'm, oh, let's leg that lad. He don't even deserve that, bro. Fair shot on target and first goal. Joe Bellingham onto the pitch now. It's about time. I don't know why this guy didn't start. Will he come back to haunt his old club? No, he's feeling the pressure. <laughs> oh, Job, man. Nice press there, come on. Not long left in this game. Can we start the season with a win? Referee, that's ridiculous. That's insane. Big Val. Felipe Andrade! Felipe Andrade! Come on! In off the bench on the 80th minute. And his first two touches. Opening up the angle. And what a finish. Come on, Felipe. Yeah? Oh, man. <laughs> I knew we were right to keep this guy as a backup striker. Look at that. All he needed was two touches in off the bench. Felipe Andrade. What a man. Come on, boys. Yeah, we don't start the season dropping points. We're trying to win this title, bro. We're trying to win every game unbeaten. Oh, that's a hell of a ball. Barton, that's you, bro. Barton. Ah! Getting stuck in. We love to see it. Yeah, now they're fighting on the pitch down there, but we take the win. Away from home at Wolfsburg on the first day of the season. That is a tough fixture to start off, but we start like we mean to go on. Yeah, 2-1, three points, game time. Michael Davis just came to us and said, I need to let you know I've been reading some of the stuff that people have been saying about me and my future. Just wanted to ask you to give me another chance to prove I'm the right man for the job. Now, the team changes game by game, Michael. You'll get your chance to play, bro, in the cup. We're in three competitions this season. You know, we need squad depth. 
that's the thing. We've got the Bundesliga, the Champions League now, and the German Cup. We're going to need rotation. We might even have to pick people up in January. I don't know if I'm going to be able to balance the squad properly with these three competitions. So we'll see how we get until the Jan transfer window. We might have to pick up some more players, even free agents or youth academy players coming back from loan or up from the academy. We'll have to wait and see because fitness, rotation, quick succession of games, you know, it all it's all going to impact this team, bro, going forward this season. All right, boys, got some bad news. Yeah, as I'm recording this video, my laptop charger has just died and obviously I need my laptop to record to. So I'm going to try and get another game in. But if this video ends after the next game, it's because my laptop is broke and I haven't been able to get a new... Well, my laptop charge is broke and I've not been able to get a new one in time for, um, you know, like to finish the video off before Monday. So let's just jump into the game against Freiburg and hope we get through it before my laptop dies, bro. Um, should we just try and blitz through the games, stop yapping and just get into them? I don't recognize nobody there that's a threat in their team. Uh, and let's get to it. I'm going unchanged from the first game because why would I switch what's not broken? We're playing class in our home kit for the first time this season at the Morgan Elliott Arena. The upgraded capacity Morgan Elliott Arena. Let's get to it, man. Come on. Before my laptop dies. Yo, how, bro? How? Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate, and this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world. Uh, ooh, doggy, yeah. Who doggy on the, the TIFO? So much riding on this. Seems like the fans like him. W sign and then chat. W sign and then deed. All the action next. Hello, it's great to be with you. I can't believe that, lad. There's always something that goes wrong with me, innit? Whether it's my controller breaking, my laptop charging, now just. Just, I don't know, end game in itself for some reason. Ah, oh, man, I love the positions that Barton takes up in the midfield, you know. Demir, can he find... Ah, oh, Moses, man, he's getting himself in good positions. And we're just not getting the ball to him. Here's Demir again. Into Moses. Ah, oh, maybe he had a sweaty there to Devo, but I just saw the goal. I had to take the shot. Come on. Lad, I need to get uh, Barton on the corners in the set pieces. BR's changing every time. Ooh, doggy! Oi! Nearly starting off his dream chaser's career with a goal. Oh, lad, how he gets himself out of tight spaces. And into tight spaces, probably looking at the guy. Like, it's crazy, bro. What a player. Oh. Oh, why did I slide in there? Offside, thank God for that. Emi Buendia, he's still playing. I swear he's like 36. Demir, Ishikawa. Ishikawa, oh, lad. Ishikawa, man. It always looks like his shots are going in. And then they just go past the post. Oh, lad, come on. Oh, how's he just turned me like that and I've pulled all the defenders out of position, but Amy, what a tackle. How's that not a pen ref? What a tackle from Wisdom Amy. Oh my days. Oh, that's such terrible defending. But that final tackle has just saved us from conceding here. Come on. We're at our new home stadium and we've just not settled in. Was it season four when we got a new home stadium and we just couldn't win there? I think it was. Season five, we had a decent home record, but... I hope it's not a repeat of season four, bro, where we just can't win at home. Maybe changing the capacity of the stadium all the time. It's making it feel like a different home, you know, and we can never settle in. Christ, how's that hit the post? <laughs> what? Lad, they are absolutely dominating this game, bro. I can't do nothing. We just can't get our foot on the ball. And they're getting every bounce as well. Look at that. Well, in Demir. See, bro, I can't get my foot on the ball. Just trap it, someone, please. Oh, my days, bro. Trap the ball. Oh, lad, we got lucky. We got so lucky. How am I supposed to change this team around, man? I need a ball carrier midfielder, so I'm actually going to bring on Chan over Demir, maybe, or Bergval. Mm, Bergval, actually. I'm bringing on Chan. I need a ball carrier, bro. 
That's a bold move, taking off our captain in the 57th minute. I don't know why I've done that. I should have took off Demir, but from what I remember, Demir's actually touched the ball this game, and Bergvall's not had a sniff. Let's see, is the Chan Redemption arc on? There's Devo lumping the ball into him. And Chan to Moses, to Demir, to Ishikawa. Oh, man, come on. They've got so many bodies back. Here we go, Chan. Show us that you're worthy of staying here, Chan. Show us I made the right decision to bring you back, Chan. Moses wide to Ishikawa. Lad, I'm just trying to get long shots off here because nothing's working. Budogi, Chan. Oh, lad! I just can't get nothing going, bro. Oh, terrible game there. Nil-nil draw at home. I think I was a bit distracted, though, especially first half because I was concerned about my laptop dying and losing the footage, which it's about to. Right, well, clearly me and technology don't get along for some reason. Um, the charges decided to start working again, but it might go again, so I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, we can just finish this episode and I can just go and buy a new one, bro. Um, yeah, so we've got an offer for uh, Felipe Andrade from Batiste, and with that goal on the debut um, day of the season, that's not even English, lad, I'm declining it. I'm not selling that boy. That's our backup striker for the season. Yeah, that's a better story than Ronaldo's region. I don't care what people say. Schmidt, man of the match in the fit in the second game of the season. Bro, how many times are you going to say that? Not many, because we don't have many second games of the season. But you know what I'm trying to say. Transfer deadline date. Let's advance through this. I'll show you if there's any big transfers, uh, especially in the Bundesliga, to mention. Well, there's one. I literally just said last episode, was it? I wonder what Saka's up to. Erdegaard from Real Madrid to Arsenal. I'm getting deja vu off that one, boys. What? <laughs> no way. Erdogan going back to Real Madrid and then back to Arsenal. That's actually mad. Somebody commented on the Norway video. Maybe I should sign Erdogan for the Dream Chasers. Now, I actually would like that idea, but I don't think it would make sense to sign him. Um, but still, that's crazy, bro. He's gone back to Arsenal and Arsenal have just sold Saka as well to Inter. That is wild. We've already mentioned Rico Lewis. Evan Ferguson for 82 million to Bayern Munich. What? 82 mil. We played this guy in the Euros as well. A lot of familiar faces popping up right now. Jeremy Doku from Barcelona over to Brighton for 64 million. Obviously, Kyle Ferreira we sold to Liverpool. Nothing personal, just business, my brother. My brother, it's always business, never personal. Kjolzek as well, another player we saw in the Euros moving for big money, man. Anyway, let's advance through this deadline day and get to it. Another big transfer in the Bundesliga right there, Angelo moving from Chelsea to Bayern Munich. And I can't lie, I don't even know who this guy is. 23 years old, 83 overall, looking like good physical stats are over there bro 95 excel 94 sprint speed might make an appearance when we play Bayern Munich looks like he'll be tough to handle but I mean bro there's nobody who's tough to handle for us with the dream chases you know what I mean oh wow I'm just seeing as well Harry Kane completed his move to Leeds Bayern Munich losing the striker they've just obviously signed that winger there I wonder who their backup striker is right now oh they've just signed Evan Ferguson of course they did so they've replaced Harry Kane with Evan Ferguson. That's a big transfer for them, I can't lie. That's a nice transfer. That's a nice replacement as well. Evan Ferguson is a player. Okay, bye Munich. I see you, bro, making moves, yeah? Oh, man, this season's going to be good. Declan Rice from Bayern Munich to PSG. Surely they won't sell another big boy in this transfer window. Uh, Camilo Guedes from Latium to Hoffenheim. Another Bundesliga transfer right there, bro. That was Pepe's regen. And he's moved. He's moved to Hamburger, was that instead? Also, Leon Bailey to Stuttgart. Another Bundesliga transfer. He's a bit old now, Bailey, and lost a bit of overall. Like, so, not the player he is currently in real life. But still, big moves going on in the Bundesliga. That's going to bring us to the end of deadline day. Finally, the transfer window is over. We've got to submit again our Norway squad. Let's make sure that all of my favourite players are in it. I don't know why it changes the squad sometimes. Like, why is Sarawi not in the squad? Let me put him back in. You know what I mean? This is stupid. 
Deadline day is over, so let's get back to it. We're playing Mines next, and I can now reveal the Champions League group stage has been decided, drawn, whatever you want to say. Let's check out who we've got in our group. First time in the Champions League, and we are going to be playing Inter, Benfica, and FCSB, which I believe is Stad Bucharest, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we play them with the Dream Chasers? The first time we was in the Champions League, we had them in our group in the English Dream Chasers last year. I can't remember exactly, but I feel like Benfica and Stad Bucharest are teams that we've definitely played before <laughs> um, over in England. Obviously playing Inter as well in this group, which is going to be the, probably the hardest game. They've just signed Bakayo Saka in the last transfer window, so you know their squad's going to be stacked. I can't wait for the Champions League, man. That's going to be the next episode as well, boys. Yeah, come on. Let's see then. International duty coming up as well. We've got Eric Schmidt called up by the German squad. Robin Devo by the France Nationals team. Henry Amos getting the Ghana call up. Jorel Hato to the Netherlands. And Wisdom Amy also getting a cap for Italy. Love to see our boys doing well on the international stage. Let's get back to it though. Deadline day is over. You know what that means. Game time. Let's get it, man. Yeah. Three back formation. For these man hopefully we can tear them apart let's use the third kit for this one since we've used the other two kits in this episode already this is only the third game of the episode i've been recording for an hour and a half this is crazy let's get to it this is when it really hits home kickoff time almost upon us a colossal game featuring two teams who demonstrably belong on the big stage demonstrably is that even a word i made that up on the spot on and the fans wired in Oh, this kid's clean though. This, <laughs> this kid's <is> clean. <laughs> oh. The Evangelion color schemes never fail us, man. We look like we mean business. Let's get to it. Whoa, this guy's Ultra Instinct, bro. Get that off him, Demir. In fact, you can't even touch him, bro. He's ultra Instinct? Like, that's the greyest grey I've ever seen. You think I'm going to bite on that, lad? He must be stupid. Your doggy's there to pick up the pieces. He is just such a solid player. He's one of those players that's just complete. You know, he can do it all, does everything. Not one of these we need to wait for him to develop. He's already fully developed. That's nice play. And Demir getting the long shot off. I'm not getting no long shot space, you know. The AI are, like, just crunching me every time I get there. And I forgot to put Barton on the corners again. That's a ball in. No! Hato! Was that? Oh, that was actually a doggy going for the overhead. I just saw a defender flying through the sky and thought it was Hato. You know, that's his trademark. Big tackle there from Barton. I mean, now he can set off the boys. Are you going to make that run? No. We got lucky on the bounce, but Devo into Moses. Moses! His first goal of the season. That one would have felt too easy, bro. Yeah, we got lucky on the bounce. Barton's pass nearly got intercepted. But then, and then Moses' touch as well nearly got tackled, bro. That was a terrible goal. That right there is one of them that I'm just not proud to score. You know, the pass from Barton, bad. That right there, just bad. But a nice finish from Moses. Let's go. Big tackle from Barton, man. He's so good defensively now. Absolutely born with it. Is he Shikawa? Speaking of born with it, Demir. Speaking of born with it, what a pass. Ishikawa, have you got the legs to get that, lad? Ah, oh, unlucky. Moses. Mistake. Big foul. Devo blocking the shot now. Come on. Barton, what a head, lad. Oh, Ishikawa. He's so good. He's still got it. What a finish. Oh, man. Now, that's a good goal right there, bro. Yeah, not like the first one. That one right there. Oh, Ishikawa. What a player he stepped up to be, man. For real, though. The spacing. All he needs is a bit of space. And I told you, I've not really had the space for the long shots this episode. But then the first time we get it. Look at the swaz on that. F2 freestylers would be creaming over that one. I don't even know if them man still exist and make videos together anymore, lad. But, bro, that's swaz techers <laughs> throwing it back. Pause. Hey, yo. You know when people say throwback Thursday? Like, what do they mean by that? What do you mean by that?
big boos at half time there from the home fans. You hear that then? They are not putting on a show for the fans. Getting relegated, if you ask me. This performance, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Watch it be 3 2 now. Not with Barton playing like he is. See, look at the space. You can't give our strike space this much uh, our strike space. What am I even saying, bro? My tongue is not connecting today. My head's been gone ever since the laptop stopped charging, lad. <laughs> I can't even speak no more. <laughs> Yikes. That's just poor. That is just poor. Panic stations already. Early subs. Sato into Ibrahim. These two love each other. They might just have children. Because these two, the chemistry is ridiculous, bro. Are you kidding me? Let these two just click. Just on a vibe that just doesn't make sense. Maybe they grew up together. I doubt it because one's from Nigeria, one's from Japan. They are very far away from each other on the map. <laughs> but I don't know, bro. I don't know why they love each other so much. That's none of my business, though. Maybe it's something to do with Throwback Thursday. I don't know. What a tackle that is from Amos. Man, he is good. Ishikawa. Alves. Feeding through Sato. Sato. Pulling it back to Moses for the hat-trick. Sato on the assist again. And another goal for Moses. I thought they were going to start kissing in the celebrations then. What is wrong with these two, bro? Green Link on Ultimate Team. They don't even do that no more. How dead is Ultimate Team now, bro? They need to bring back Links. That shit looks beautiful, bro. But these two, Green Link, Chef's Kiss, Moses hat-trick, inject it into my veins. Oh, Barton, man. This guy's an absolute brick wall. Moses, don't you dare. That's ridiculous play. Alex Alves on the score sheet now. We are tearing these apart. Christ. Good for our goal difference, though. Remember last season, we conceded hella. So our goal difference wasn't great. We need to score. Oh, my God. These are terrible, man. Oh my god, these are terrible. But or is Moses just the best? <laughs> I don't know. But that's four for Moses. Lad. What? Thumbnail FC. Are you kidding me? Look at the space in there. Ishikawa assist. That's ridiculous. We, I shot way too early. You should never shoot that far out. I had at least two more touches before the keeper would come out. But I thought I'd just hit it. And it's gone in anyway. The keeper is absolutely dead. Subbing Ibrahim off there because he doesn't need any more goals, bro. He's going to ruin the golden boot race if he gets any, any more here, yeah, lad. But we've brought on all of our youth strikers. Uh, got Andrade up top. We've got Nkosi on the right because I want to see how he feels in game with his pace and the rapid plus and that. And he, he looks so skinny and fragile, bro. He's number 40 and it's just about fitting on his back. He's going all the way. Alex! Man, come on. A corner. Let's see if Andrade can get his big fat skull on this. There he is. No, it's not a two doggy again, man. Two doggy winning everything from the corners. Big tackle from Henry. He's still got it. Now Benji into Felipe. Has he got it? And Kosi wide. And Kosi pull it back. Sato put it to bed. What a save. Last kick of the game. Can we get a goal with it from this corner? Ball in. Big Val. Hato! Oh, lads! He nearly made up for missing it last season with a big one there. But we win away from home 6 1. That is a big result. You can see that half the stadium has already emptied. These uh, home fans not happy with that performance. And why would they be? You know, 6 1 thrashing there. Let's go. Moses Ibrahim, man of the match, easily. Next generation top youngsters to watch. Who's that at the bottom there, bro? Is that the boy Muller from the Dream Chasers? Okay. He's going out on loan, I think. So you're telling me I just can't change the team sheet for my international squad? What the fuck is this dog game? £100 every year I pay for this shit, lad. And it's fucking broke every year, lad. Every single year there's a new thing wrong with it. And if it's not a new thing wrong with it, it's an existing thing from the last game that they've not fixed yet still. Like, what is this, lad? £100 for this dog sh**. you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to have to let the assistant manager decide me Norway squad for me, lad, because EA won't let me do it myself. Did that say Ruben Diaz in DM? 
Okay, no, it's a five-back formation. Tripping. I think this means nothing. It's just a friendly. So I don't even know why I'm asked about trying to fix me squad and that. EA, get a grip. We lose 4-2. Doesn't matter because we beat them in the Euro finals anyway. So get out of here. Sebastian Martin and Fran Ojeda are looking to cancel their contracts in the Youth Academy. Okay, so let's see what's going on there. Sebastian Martin and Fran Ojeda. Seb Martin's the goalkeeper. That's bad timing for him to say that, lad. We could have just loaned you out. And then Fran Ojeda, you have no potential. But I'm going to promote him anyway. Because I want to check out his um, his play styles. And Seb Martin's a nice backup keeper to have. So let's promote him to check his play styles. First of all, let's get rid of this Norway um, international friendly bollocks. Because who even cares? Like, for real, though. You know what I mean? Don't even bother with the squad. I want to play our youth lads, but I guess we can't because EA won't let us decide our squad. We win 3-0 anyway. Who even cares, bro? Ridiculous game. Seb Martin is an exciting prospect. Looks exactly like Jack Bauer. I'm going to loan him out, of course. Um, and hopefully someone takes him in January. And where was the other guy? Fran Ojeda is at club since. Absolute stinker. Let's loan him out anyway. Or just quick sell him, actually. Let's check his, um, his play styles. We might just quick sell him. Jockey and anticipates not bad for a defender, but 49 defending is far throwing cross claim is nice on Martin. Not sure how much the goalkeeper play styles actually affect them. Um if they are that impactful, but still it's nice. I've been recording this episode for nearly two hours. That is crazy to me because it's only gonna be like 30, 40 minute video. But let's finalize the I can't even speak, lad. You know what I mean, boys? I've been recording for too long. My head's gone. Let's play Stuttgart, beat them, so I can end this episode and try not to cry. Why has nobody got stamina? Am I dumb or stupid? We can rotate though, because we have the option to. Alex Alves on the left. Amy and Hato tired at the back. So let's just play. Um let's play two Amoses in a center back, yeah. Put Bergval in the middle CM and on the left CM. Let's give a start to Sato because he played great last game in off the bench. The man to watch. Four goals last time out. Can he light up the stage again? Don't go anywhere. This is EA TV. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Can they forge ahead? Schmidt, you absolute beauty. Where would we be without this man? Probably not in the Champions League, that's the answer. Oh, that's shit. That's just... Demir, find that. Moses, the man in form. Ah, oh, I just can't get no space, lad. Terrible first half. Why is he just slid in there, the freak? Sato, find it, Chan. Ishikawa. Find it, Sato. Chan! Yes, Chan! Come on! Redemption's on his mind when he thinks about it. Come on, Chan. Yeah? Come on! A new role. In the team, you know, I'm playing him rather than the midfield. I was playing him last time on like the wings, wasn't I? Out wide, like he's a good ball carrying midfielder. Finds himself in a good space there, almost like a centre forward as well, though. And I mean, that's completely contradicted what I've just said about him, but still, let's go. Taking off Alex as well, he's done nothing this game. I'm going to give Leonardo Correa a chance on the wing. Might even take off Moses for Felipe to get a goal here because Moses is tired, bro, but he's the man in form. You know, he's the man on fire, four goals last game. Maybe give it to like the 80th minute and then bring on Felipe, try and get a late winner, but... Well, then Ishikawa, come on, lad. Moses, giving it back to him. Come on, Ishikawa, move those legs. Come on, Ishikawa. Back into Moses, nice link of play. Terrible touch, come on, Moses, you're killing me. In fact, yeah, Felipe, come on. Moses, he's knackered, bro. I should have rested him after that last game. He put his heart and soul into the pitch last game. Okay, 10 minutes left. Can Felipe, hairline Andrade, pick us up the winner? <laughs> oh, man, his hair makes me laugh every time I see it, bro. Leonardo Correa, you absolute garbage, man. Well, then, Udogi. Udogi, come on. What a ball. Sato. 
Ah, oh, Felipe! No! Barton knocking! Ishikawa! Yeah! Come on! That's what he does! Ishikawa-san! Come on! Oh, man. That's just what he does, bro. That's just what he does. Never back down. Never what? You see, all the hustle then. We had, like, six man in the box just trying to win the game for us, lad. This is our season, boys. I'm telling you. This is our season. With hustle and ambition and pride like that, bro. What could go wrong? Big tackle, Amos. Yeah? Come on. Udoggy monumental in that attack there as well with his passing. Fuck's sake, Udoggy, lad. I'm trying to gas you up here. Ref. F come on. Come on. Unbeaten at home still. Unbeaten all season, actually. Yeah? Come on. That's how we do it. Fight until the end. Dortmund dropping points there as well. Love to see it. Wow, I'm hard. That was absolutely beautiful to hear, bro. The champions. Yeah, we're playing the hardest game of the group. Inter Milan as our first game of the group. Let's check at the end of this first episode of this, like, proper episode of the season, though. Four games in, unbeaten, top of the league. Frankfurt and Leverkusen also unbeaten. Bayern Munich have lost two games already, yeah. Boys, this is our season. Leverkusen, though, of course, last season finished, like, 10 points ahead of us. They're still going to give us a challenge, but we're ahead on goal difference. And we're ahead at the top of the league. Come on, boys. Season six, I told you it's going to be fire, bro. Yeah, still... Every season improving, becoming more and more electrifying. Let's hope I don't electrocute myself with this broken laptop charger, but I'm just glad I could finish the episode before it did break. If you have enjoyed, though, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time, people. Take it easy, man. I am absolutely exhausted for the day, man. Wow.